Hello everyone, Sonic Ryan 9 here. Welcome back to Spyro 2. When we last left off, we beat, um, what did we do? We beat, uh, Cloudy, Cloud Temples. And, uh, we continue on. Um, I don't think this world saved last time, so that's great. I'll have to do that off camera. Anyway, um, I let's do this. You've learned the value of orb Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Let's go to Metropolis. All right, Metropolis time. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Ah, uh, evil space cow. With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it will start working again if you just give it a good whack, though. Alright. Got everything in here, yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, let's give it a good whack! So as a kid, this was one of my favourite levels. Um, mainly from a design standpoint, like, how it looks. Cause, because, um... I'm always a fan of when, you know, video game franchises take worlds of the future and sort of um, giving us an idea of what the future could look like. In this in this case, it's a world where robots are kind of like service workers. Where'd that pick go? Oh, must have blown up. Whoa, the pigs are flying! Okay. Oh, there's another one of these that are stuck. Lovely. And up here. As you oh, can this. See, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. And here we thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I would advise using the bombs against it, and it will probably take several bombs at that. Uh, boss fight. Gotta be careful. Oh god. Dangerous owl! Oh, come on, that was right in his face. There we go. Yeah, you gotta sort of skate around in a circle right in front of his face. To, uh, get him. There we go. Ox dead. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Oh. Nice. Alright. So, we must be getting a rocket or a super breath to break that open. Get out of here. This. Gems. 
Lovely. Alright. God. Another dead pig. Coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. <clears throat> it's a first for Avalar, a combination power up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Take down the sheep. Sheep saucers. That's um, okay. Right. Well, be before we do any of that, we're gonna go back because, if you remember, we needed we needed super flame for this, like so. Now let's head back. Let's quickly fly back. There we go. There we go. Excellent work. You knock those sheep right out of the sky. Take this orb device as proof of your skill. That should be the last of your oh. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. Shoot down the second wave. Oh my god, more. And another orb. Nice. Right now, let's get these. Um... That's odd. <laughs> Little spark on the ground. Right, let's get these gems. We should be good to go. Oh. 
down here. There we go. 100%. Let's go. We're done. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's, uh... That was unfortunate for him. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, now with that done, let us... Let's do this. The other robot-themed world, Robotica Farm. But uh, yeah, this was another level which, design-wise, um, I thought looked really kind of cool. Just um, the idea of a robotic farm with like machines and robots like looking after crops and everything look, was was kind of a cool concept and an interesting take on the whole farmland level that you sometimes get in certain games. Very clever. Okay, up we go. Get him out of here. Yeah, there we go, that's how you defeat these guys. Yeah, I think this is like the first enemy in the game where you have to do a charge and the head bash move all at once. Okay, I mean, I appreciate them trying to mix mix things up and not just doing the same few enemy types over and over again. Is that a barrel? <laughs> just rolling there on the ground? That was odd. Get out of here. Odd. More fun. Gems. More gems. Right. Oh, what a shot. Get rid of you as well. Ugh. Ooh. Get you out of there. Ah, you sneak attack. Bug. Okay. What do we got over here? These darn bugs are making a joke of my expensive robot scarecrows. Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? Flame the bugs. Gotcha. Two, three, 
This one's kind of a, a test on the speed of your um, flying. There we go. Got them all. My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. Another ge a gem orb. Okay, let's explore. The heck, there's another one. <laughs> it's weird, you know, you complete this mission and yet here, here's still a few others just there. And the farmer doesn't seem to care. Weirdly enough. Okay. I'll get him, but I don't think you get anything for knocking him out. Okay, let's move. I will try and hit this with the rock, but I don't think using the rock will do anything to it. Yep, just as I figured. <laughs> Never mind. Must be a thing that we have to use. Oh, oh, it is. Okay. Ah, rocket. Nice. Lovely. You. Okay, so open. So I can hit this guy from here. Oh, never mind. Ho oh, ho! That was uh, that was a solid hit right there. These little guys seem kind of helpless when you knock them on their backs. I feel. Guilty, almost. Get out of there. See anything around here? Ooh, look at Okay. Another gem, another gem. More gems. That's the end. Way to go, Spyro! <clears throat> Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Right. Now we may have got to the end, but we've got this thing over here. Oh, we've also got that, have we? Oh. I'm not a big fan of these. Because it means you have to travel back through the level just to get some gems. Ugh. Might as well do it now. Okay, I know, I, I know where that is. Yeah, it's here. I guess one good thing is that they do open up a shortcut once you do reach the end of the regular level. Um, there it is. Okay, the, the sparks finding thing is actually pretty useful here. On there? Oh. Ugh. <sighs> 
Okay, alright, alright. I'll do this first. Considering, you know... The, uh, the gems are on the way. So in this, you've got to break open these... Pumpkin things? To make a path. Push. A fine piece of steering that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. It's another orb. Now uh, we'll, we'll go around here and we'll get all the gems. Okay, fly. One here. Not going to see that. <laughs> oh, it's here. And I, apparently, I'm still missing some gems. Oh, I'm here. Oh no, down here. Oh, for God's sake. Now where? Uh... Oh. God, I hate camouflage friggin' gems sometimes. That's so stupid. <laughs> Awesome. All right. And after that, I feel like this is another good point to end our episode on. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Spyro 2. If you enjoyed it, do please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and join me next time where we'll tackle some more stuff. So I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye everyone, and thanks for watching.